how do you interact with someone who is depressed? Now say you want to start the conversation. What are some things that you can say to start a conversation with someone who is depressed without sounding judgmental, without sounding like the Sharia police, without sounding like, you know, you're trying to guide the lost souls. Number one, you can say to someone who is depressed, I've been concerned about you lately. You start off by saying this, I've been concerned about you. Is everything okay? There, you didn't make any judgment. You expressed your concern for this person, that you care about them, your willingness to listen to them. Number two, you could say recently, I've noticed some changes in you. You've lost a lot of weight. You look pale. Is everything okay? Did something happen? Again, you're expressing concern. I wanted to check on you because you seem like you're down. Again, these are akhlaqi ways of reaching out to people who are suffering. There's no judgment. You can even ask questions like, when did you begin to feel like this? You don't tell them, be patient, do this and that. You're not giving, you're listening. You're asking questions to understand, to become empathetic. Did something happen that made you start feeling like this? How can I support you? How many of us do that? Instead of saying, here is Dua Kumail, and I'll see you later. How can I support you? Have you thought about getting help? You know, brothers and sisters, there's a, there's a stigma associated with talking to a counselor, talking to a therapist. But we need to normalize this because people are taking their lives in our communities. Because they're made to feel like they're abnormal. In the same way that it's normal for you to go to the dentist every six months, even if you don't have a cavity, even if you brush and you floss every day, do you still go to the dentist? You still go. Why do you go to the dentist? Your teeth are sparkling white. You go there because of preventive measures. You go for prevention. So people should, we should normalize the practice of getting a mental checkup. There's nothing wrong with it. In the same way that you pay attention to your oral hygiene, you have to make sure that you're okay. You need a safe space to talk about what's happening in your, in your life. If you keep it bottled up, bottled up, what's going to happen? You're going to implode. So we have to encourage people who are suffering to seek help. Now there's a couple of...